Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install I Hate Money on CosOS using Big Bear CosOS, a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, and installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this was a suggested video on uh, Big Bear Community by Thomas. Uh, he suggested me add I Hate Money to a Big Bear Cost OS. So I'm, I, I did that and I'm making a video now on it. So if you would like to suggest apps for me to add to Big Bear Cost OS or uh, Big Bear videos or something like that, then uh, you, you can go on to Big Bear Community and uh, I request a app to be added. So this is what we will be installing today. I hate money. It's a simple shared budget manager web application. Um, I hate money is a web application made to ease shared budget management. It keeps track of who bought what, when, and for whom, and helps to settle the bills. So um, if you go up here to the website, this is what it will look like. So that's what we will be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And um, this is a third-party app store that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, there, is, uh, there is a lot of apps currently in there now. Um, I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS video on Cost OS, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. The custom app store is only supported on 0 0.4.4 or newer. So, I'm going to scroll up, and to App Store URL right here, I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over my Cost OS and get this App Store set up. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go over to More Apps over here. Go click it. A text input pops out. I'm going to paste in what I copied over in Bitbear Cost OS, the App Store URL. Now I'm going to add... So now we have 176 apps available. So um, now you won't see it over here yet. You're going to have to re refresh, go back into the app store, and you'll now see Big Bear Cost OS. So you can see all the apps available from Big Bear Cost OS. So we got the app store set up. So now I'm going to go over the Docker and Pose. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to the search and type... Uh, hate and then now apps i hate money so i'm going to go into it so docker compose so big bear cost os apps i hate money and then docker compose so now the name is set to big bear i hate money and this is a cost os app name and then the services and the first service underneath services is called big bear i hate money and then the container name is going to be set to big bear i hate money and this is so Docker and Post doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And then restart unless stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, they will try to restart. And then environment variables. So the secret key, I would recommend changing this. And the database URI. The activate admin dashboard is set to true. And then the admin password is empty because we will need to run Docker uh, run command right here. And then session cookie secure is set to false. Now ports are 8001. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 8000. Do not change the container's port. So now the networks are Big Bear I Hate Money Network. That is defined down the bottom. And then now XCOS OS information to explain the service up here. So the environment variables and the ports. Now I'm going to set another service underneath the services. And this is Big Bear I Hate Money DB. And then the image is coming off Docker by default because there's no year before this. It's MariaDB. And then this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. 
the container name is going to be called uh, set to Big Bear I Hate Money DB, and this is so Docker doesn't have generate a random name. And then environment variables, so the MySQL root password, the MySQL database, the MySQL user, and the MySQL password. Now the um, those should rhyme with Big Bear, which is the MySQL user, and then uh, password, which is the MySQL password. And then um, Big Bear I Hate Money D D DB is rhymes with the service name right here. And then I Hate Money is the database name. So that would be rhyme with MySQL database right here. So when this Docker container is uh, uh, cr created for the first time, it will set up the MySQL database, which is the default uh, database that it, cr it creates, and the user. So uh, after this, uh, if you try to change these environment variables again, it will not work because it's already been set up. So you will need to go into this da database and um, ch change the username uh, or, or, or anything you want to change with SQL instead of the environment variables right here. So ports are 3306. Uh, that's on the host. And then on the containers, 3306. Um, volumes are data app data, dynamic variable, which is the app ID, and then MySQL. The, the dynamic variable right here is gotten from the name up here. And then um, on the container is var lib MySQL. I do not change this path. And then networks are Big Bear I Hate Money Network. And then it costs us information to explain the environment variables and the ports. Now I'm going to define the network. So Big Bear I Hate Money Network, and that's a uh, bridge network. So now I'm going to uh, define XCOS as information to explain the app in the App Store. So the architectures that the Docker image supports is AMD64 and ARM64. And that would be the I Hate Money, I Hate Money, and that's what this supports. So now the main is set to the service name of Big Bear I Hate Money up here. And... Um, then uh, the description, the tagline, the developer of the Docker image, the author of the Docker and pose, and the icon, thumbnail, the title, and then the category so people can find all the Big Bear Cost OS supported apps. And then port map is 8001, and this does rhyme with the host port up here. So that's a little bit about the Docker and pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now we're in our COS OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to type in the search money. So, so now you see I hate money in here. So I'm going to click it, then I'm going to press install. Now what this is doing is this download the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting up with Docker Compose underneath, because this does use the Docker engine. It's also creating the network um, and the volumes, the bind. So uh, this could take a little bit to do, but no, it didn't. Uh, it's up and running. So now I'm going to go over the app settings. So if you go to these vertical dots right here, you can open in the web UI, you can set some tips, and you can go down the edit button, and you can type in here, and then you can press the save button, now reload the container, and say, I hate money is okay. Um, you can go back into the tips, you can see it did save. You can go into settings, and you can edit so some of the settings right here. You can also go over here to the other one, and um, you can go into terminal logs and go into the container. Now you can go into the logs as well. It's great for debugging. And you can export the Docker and pose and X out of here. So you can check for updates and you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to SSH into my, uh, my server that's running COS OS. And I'm going to paste in the Docker run command to generate the password. So um, you can get this Docker run command from the Docker and pose. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and run it. So now it's going to ask me for my password that I want. So you're going to type it in. And then you're going to press enter.
so now it generated a Shade 256 right here. So I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cos OS and get this uh, set in the environment variables. So now I'm going to set up the admin password. So I'm going to go up these vertical dots, go to settings, and then scroll down to environment variables. Now you'll see admin password right here. I'm going to paste in the Shade 256 that we generated. And now I'm going to scroll over to these dollar signs right here. And I'm going to add another do do dollar sign to the right of them to escape them. So now we, that, there we go. So now we should have the full thing. And then these dollar signs should be, uh, I, I turn in from two to four. So now um, I'm going to press save. Now it's going to reload the container and redeploy it. So there we go. And let's just make sure it did save. So admin password and then the four do dollar signs. There we go. So we got the admin password set. So now that we got everything set up, we're going to go into the UI so you can open it from here or you can open it from here. So now um, I'm going to go down here to the bottom right, go to administration dashboard. So now we're going to put the admin password that we generated from the Docker run command. Then now submit. There we go. We're in the, the admin dashboard. So you can go up to projects and you can start a new project. You can put testing in it and then I'm going to put testing in it. And then I'm going to put a password in and then an email. So now submit. So, so now we're in our project. Um, you can add a participant like Jane and then, um, so I, now we have both of the participants in, so you can edit them and edit the name and the weight. You can go to bills and you can deactivate too. You can invite people and you can also go to settle and then you can go to statistics. Um, you can go back and you can see the history. Um, there we go. Uh, you can set, see the settings. So, and um, you can also see the RSS feed and the dashboard and you can see number of participants too. So this is the admin dashboard again and you can edit it as well. Um, you can go to the, the project by switch to testing and there we go. You can add a new bill in and you can just say testing and then how much is, I'm going to say $18 and then you can submit and there we go. Then you can settle it up and statistics. So that's a little bit about how I meant I hate money works. So I just went over step by step on getting I hate money working on cost OS using Big Bear cost OS third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join a form. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.